Hello and welcome to Skill Train. We're excited that you're here. My name is Lindsay and I'm one of the staff members at Skill Train. We know that the decision to pursue your GED is a big step and we're excited to help you in the process. This PowerPoint will give you some basic information about Skill Train as well as about the GED. The GED is divided into four subject areas, reasoning through language arts, sometimes called RLA, social studies, science, and mathematical reasoning. For each of these sections, you will be required to take a practice test before taking the official test. The practice test is called the ready test. On this slide, you will see the official test times for each of the four subject areas. RLA, 155 minutes. Social Studies, 75 minutes. Science, 95 minutes. And Mathematical Reasoning, 120 minutes. Here's a little more information about both the ready test and the official test. As you'll see on the slide, each test covers all four subjects. You do not have to take them at the same time. In fact, we recommend that you don't. For each of the tests, the passing score is 145 out of a possible 200 points. Both ready test and official tests are taken on the computer and your results are available the same day. On the previous slide, we saw the length of the official tests. The good news about the ready test is that they are only half the length of official tests. The ready test costs $6 each, but SkillTrain will cover this cost for you since you are a SkillTrain student. The official test costs $30 per section, but SkillTrain can help you with scholarships. Please do not let cost be a barrier. We are here to help. Your GED ready test scores are valid for 60 days and your official GED test scores are valid until the GED changes the test in a significant way. As mentioned on the previous slide, the official GED test costs $30 per section or subject. If you do not pass, you are allowed two retakes costing $10 each. As we mentioned before, don't worry. If you need a scholarship, we can help. Well, let's look more at that now. Time for a quick mental math quiz. If there are four official GED tests and each one costs $30, what is the total cost of the test? If you said $120, you are right on the money. If you can pay $120 for the test outright, we encourage you to do so. We find that students are more invested in getting their GEDs when they have literally invested their own funds in the process. We know though that $120 isn't pocket change and we don't want the cost to keep you from pursuing your GED. That's why we have scholarship funding available. Though we wish we could cover the total cost for every student, unfortunately, our funds are limited. For this reason, we ask you to seriously consider what you can contribute towards your GED. When you meet with your advisor, you'll talk more with them about which option is best for you. Let's look at a few common questions and answers. As mentioned in the previous slide, the total test cost is $120. Thanks to the generosity of many donors, SkillTrain can help you cover up to $100 of the total test cost, leaving you with as little as $20 to pay. Don't worry, we know that $20 still sounds like a lot of money sometimes. You won't be asked to pay it all at one time. Our advisors have ideas about how you can save up $5 at a time to help with your test cost. Your advisor will talk with you more about this when you meet very soon. 
Your advisor will also help you apply for a scholarship. Aside from submitting an application, you would be asked to write a thank you note to the OCTC Foundation for their support. You can apply for a scholarship once you have completed 12 study hours with SkillTrain and have taken your TABE test. Don't worry, 12 study hours add up very quickly because it counts this orientation, your TABE test, your meeting with your advisor, and plenty of other small tasks. After you get your GED, if you're wondering how you can give back, we would suggest you make a donation to the scholarship fund. In this way, you will help future students achieve their GED as well. And as always, we would ask that you refer your friends to SkillTrain. Getting started with SkillTrain is easy. In fact, you're already on your way. The first step is to watch this PowerPoint and learn more about the GED and about SkillTrain. You'll also need to complete the Student Enrollment Google Form. The link was sent to you and the form asks for information like your name, your address, your school history, etc. After you complete the Google Form, SkillTrain staff will call or text you to schedule your TABE test. This test might be taken online or you might choose to take it at SkillTrain. You'll also need to set up your GED.com account. You'll see on the screen there is a link to the instructions. Please click here and follow these instructions. After completing your TABE test and your enrollment form, you will Zoom with your advisor and create a study plan. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Zoom, we will provide some instructions at the appropriate time. You will also meet or Zoom with our college career navigator, Alita. She will help you think about your future, what you want to do beyond your GED. At that point, the studying will begin in earnest. You might be wondering, when do I get to take the GED Ready Test? The RLA, remember that means Reasoning Through Language Arts, Ready Test is actually a part of orientation. You'll do that very soon. The timing for your math ready test depends on your TABE test score. Once you take the TABE test, you will sit down with your advisor, probably via Zoom, to discuss your scores, a study plan, and whether or not you're ready to go ahead and take the math test. This will also help determine if you're ready for the science and social studies test. These decisions are made in conversation with your advisor and based on your test scores and your study time. You might also be wondering, what happens if I pass a GED Ready Test? The good news is that once you pass a Ready Test, you're able to schedule the corresponding official test in that same subject. You'll use your GED.com account, remember you'll set that up as a part of orientation, to schedule all your official tests. The official GED test is given in many places around Kentucky. One of them, thankfully, is at the OCTC downtown campus on Frederica Street. The test is given at our campus on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You might also be wondering, what happens if I don't pass the ready test? Or the official test, for that matter. Don't worry, that's why SkillTrain is here. We have in-person and online options to help you study. Our teachers are here to help, and your advisor will help you create a study plan to brush up your skills in whichever subject you need. SkillTrain uses a number of online tools to help you study from home. You'll see here a link to our Facebook page. Even though Facebook itself isn't a study option, it is a good place to connect with SkillTrain and to stay up to date on the latest information and study options. We recommend that you like us on Facebook so you can see our posts. You'll also see SkillTrain's study site linked here. 
This is a Google site that's been created by our staff and provides study resources for all subject areas. Feel free to follow the link and check it out. Just make sure that you also keep track of the activities you complete so that we can count your study time. Skilltrain is using Zoom for many of our classes. If you haven't used Zoom before, don't worry. It's a new tool that allows people to meet using video through their computers, tablets, and smartphones. This means if you want to participate in a class from home, you'll be able to do it. If you will be using a smartphone or a tablet for studying, please click the link provided and download the Zoom app. This is necessary in order to participate in Skilltrain's online classes. As always, if you have any questions, you can call us at 270-686-4454 and we can help walk you through the process. We know that your goal is to get your GED. We want you to know that is our goal too. Every year we plan a graduation ceremony so that we can celebrate your success with you. We hope to have our next graduation ceremony in June of 2021. For all of our graduates, there will be a chance to wear a cap and gown, to walk across the stage and receive their diploma with their family and friends watching. We have a reception following and it's always a highlight of our year. We are excited to see you walk across the stage at our next graduation. Did you already go to Facebook and like us? If not, we encourage you to do so. As a reminder, this will ensure that our newest information pops up on your newsfeed. This is one of our favorite pictures at SkillTrain. So many times, we think that success looks like taking a straight path from the beginning to the goal. We all know, though, that reality is a little bit more messy than that. Sometimes we take detours, sometimes we circle back. But you'll notice the picture on the right still gets to the same end point. We're excited to be a part of this journey to your GED with you. Thank you for letting us be a part of your story. Well, those are the basics, but if you have any questions, we're here to help. Feel free to contact us at the number provided, or you can reach out to Joy at jherzog0002 at kctcs.edu. If we don't hear from you, you will hear from us. Once you complete your Google registration form, we'll reach out to you to schedule your tape test and talk about the next steps. Thank you again for joining us and we look forward to meeting you.